Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Today we're having a special program here at the library. Um, the program is Dory Saves Lives, and our guest speaker, lecturer, is Shay. All right, everyone, it's a pleasure to meet you, and thank you for having us here. Today we're going to start off session one of the Listen Up Kids program. And this program is all about traffic and road safety and saving lives. So to kick off the beginning of the session, I wanna show you a brief video um, in conjunction with Dory Saves Lives, as well as the Palm Beach County School District Police Department. Hello, I'm Officer DeBernie Cosby with the School District of Palm Beach County Police Department and backed by Dory Saves Lives, Sapphire, a Palm Beach County student, has an important message for you. Make sure the first thing you do when getting into a car is put on a seatbelt. It's important to wear a seatbelt because if you don't wear a seatbelt while riding in a car, you could die. Seatbelts save lives. Buckle up. Thank you, Sapphire. And for more information, visit www.dorysavelives.org. As always, stay safe. So the purpose of this program is to really reach the heart and the mind of our students here in Riviera Beach, as well as the hearts and minds of their parents. Because it takes a mixture of the youth wanting to wear a seatbelt and the determination of a parent requiring that that seatbelt being worn in order to save lives. <laughs> Game world or real world, seatbelts save lives. A lot of people really feel that they're invincible, much like what you just saw in that video. They feel like getting in a car is nothing more than a game. That's not what happens in the real world. When you get in a car crash, if you're not wearing your seatbelt, you can be ejected from the vehicle. And what that means is, you're going down I-95, a car hits you, boom. You're not wearing your seatbelt, you fly out of the window. And unfortunately, many of our kids in this area and throughout the country are losing their lives because they're not wearing a seatbelt. So it's our mission to save the lives of our children. And through this instruction and these programs, we're able to do that. So I'm gonna play another brief short safety animation for you all so you can see what really happens a real glimpse a real reenactment of what happens when you don't wear your seatbelt in a vehicle Everybody can just open up to the very 
first page. And if you want to go to the back with the younger students back there too and help guide them along with the process as we get started, okay? Mm -hmm. Hello, all my little friends. Hello. Hello, Lucio. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. That Lucio, he's always joking. But today's subject is very important. And we should pay special attention. Do you know what the first thing that you have to do when you get in the car is? Put on our seatbelts! Put on our seatbelts! Yes, very good. And now I'm going to draw one, although it is something that you know already.
The seat belt crosses over your chest and should be pressed into its fastener until you hear a click. Never just put it on any way that you want, okay? You always have to hear the click, as only then it is well fastened. Isn't that right, Lucille? That is how you should do it. And remind those who travel with you, too. In the car, everyone should wear their seatbelts well fastened. In case of an accident or sudden braking, it will prevent serious knocks and bumps, like the one Victor had. Let's take a look. Victor's father thought that nothing would ever happen to him, and he never wore his seatbelt. Victor, as always, was playing, and although he was wearing his seatbelt, it wasn't fastened properly, as his father had never worried about showing him how he should do it. They had both had a short journey, and everything had gone well, but when they entered the city... Careful! The old lady! Right. And them, what a bang. Because Victor had his seatbelt on badly, he ended up face down and with several bumps. And his father had even more, but he could have gone through the windscreen and, well, that could have been terrible. That's right, Lucille. It could have been a lot worse. And it's better not to see it. So never forget, when you go in the car, always wear... Your seatbelt! Belt. Because you never know when something unexpected is going to happen. Like what happened to Carla's mother. She always wore her seatbelt. And she also always made sure that Carla wore hers properly, too. She always made sure that it went flip. The bus! Do you see? It is always possible that something dangerous might happen, but the seatbelt prevented them from being harmed. That is why it is so important to wear your seatbelt well fastened, like Carla and her mother, who, by the way, deserve. Green light, Lucio! Well, that's all for today, my little friends. And remember, to avoid a nasty bump, make it clean with make your seatbelt. Seat with your seatbelt. So what did we learn from that video? Who knows what the first thing they should do when they get inside of a vehicle? Put on your seatbelt? Oh, right answer, very good. Now, let's say we're riding in a vehicle. I get inside. I'm going to have my imaginary seatbelt now. I get in. I put on my seatbelt. Who thinks, and you can just raise your hand, who here thinks that it's enough for me just to put the seatbelt on across my lap and then move the strap in front of me to the side because it's feeling uncomfortable, it's a little too tight, I don't like it. Is aggravating me. Is it okay to do that? No? no. Why? Why do you think it's not okay to do that? Because you if you get an accident, you might get ejected because you're not wearing the seatbelt for you. Perfect answer. You would like to say something as well? Yeah. Um your seatbelt is going correctly. Um if you get into a car crash, the seatbelt will pull you back. So be honest with me. Does anybody here ride in a vehicle? Uh, <laughs> does anybody here ride in a vehicle and take the strap that goes across right here and put it behind them and just keep the lap belt on? Raise your hand. You've done it. One. At least one. Oh, I'm going to raise my hand because I've done it too. Um, 
Oh, you're not going to raise your hand. Okay, okay. So, everybody raise their hand, almost everybody, that they've done at least once. Um, who does it a lot? You do it a lot. <laughs> you do it a lot. You do it a lot. You do it a lot. Okay. So you do it a lot, and you do it a lot. Now, how do you think your parents are gonna feel if they told you to put your seatbelt on, and then they're driving? They say, "Hey, put your seatbelt on." They're looking in front. They're driving. They hit the road. You're supposed to be in your seatbelt, and then a car hits you. And because you didn't have this chest part across. And the car hits you, you turn into a crash jump. You're just oh, wow. back and you got whiplash now. Your back hurting. You're in the hospital, you know? What do you think? How do you think your parents are going to feel about that? Go ahead. Um, <laughs> I think that your parents would feel um, very sad. Very sad? And you didn't listen to them again because you hurt. Yeah. Thanks, that's a good answer. I'll take you next. What do you, what, how do you think your parents will feel? Uh, sad and mad because you didn't listen to them and you hurt. Sad and mad? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good answer. What do you think? Upset. Upset? Like, you gonna say something else? Okay. <laughs> and yeah, as a parent, we would feel upset, sad, mad, but more importantly, we're gonna be concerned. We're going to be concerned with your welfare. You may be in the hospital now. There's a possibility you could be in the hospital for several months recuperating. But more importantly, if you're not wearing this across your chest, more can happen than just the reenactment I showed you of me, you know, going back and forth like this. More can happen than that. You can still be completely ejected from the vehicle. And then what happens? If you're ejected from the vehicle, nine times out of 10, you're gonna die. And all of you in here, you have a long life to live. You're young. You have so many good years ahead of you. You have so many things you can work on accomplishing. You have no idea where you're gonna be at 20 years, 30 years from now. So you never, never wanna take the risk of not wearing a seatbelt properly just because it's uncomfortable. I'm gonna ask everyone here to make a pledge. To make a pledge that you promise to wear your seatbelt each and every time you get in a vehicle. So, in the booklet that I gave you, the Know What We Buckle Up booklet from the Florida Department of Transportation, if you turn to the very last page here, right there, you've got it. You're on it. Very last page for you. <coughs> you see it? This page right here. You just do your best. You just gotta sign your name and we'll read it over. Right there, you got your name. Now, I want to let you know, a <coughs> pledge is a promise. You're making a promise to yourself. You're making a promise to your parents. You're making a promise to the community. So what you're pledging is, it says it right here, I will sit where I am supposed to and will buckle up every time. I will ride quietly. I make this pledge to myself, to my friends and family. So this is a commitment. Can you all commit to yourself, to your parents, to your friends and your family to always wear a seatbelt every time you're in a vehicle? Yes. You can commit to that? Can you commit to that? Can you commit to that? It's a promise, you promise, right? Okay, you pick your promise. Oh, you're not gonna pick your promise. Oh, okay, I don't know about it now. Without that pinky promise, you promise every time you get in the seat and you get in the moving vehicle, you're gonna wear your seatbelt and sit in the right spot you're supposed to in the back, right? You promise me? You know you shake your nose. You don't promise that. No. Uh, do you promise? You like you don't promise? Are you, do you promise that? Okay. 
I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay, so if you promise, even though you didn't pinky promise, go ahead and fill this out. Put your name right here. Everybody's done. So I appreciate everyone taking that pledge. We're gonna end the program with a song. Our kids' lives matter. We gotta keep them safe. So when we put them in the car, we gotta make sure they are buckled up. We gotta keep them safe. All kids' lives matter, so we buckle up. All kids' lives matter, so we buckle up. And then we click it, and then we click it, and then we click it, and then we click it. All kids' lives matter, so we buckle up. Thank you so much. Our kids' lives matter. We gotta keep them safe. So when we put them in the car, we gotta make sure they are buckled up. We gotta keep them safe. All kids' lives matter, so we buckle up. All kids' lives matter, so we buckle up.